All right, this video we're going to demonstrate um, sending text to things. So you, often, you know, generally speaking, you in in <laughs> everything you do, you're either clicking a button or possibly setting text or getting text. Um, our our tool is not built for getting the text, but we can set text. So let's actually we're going to go ahead and automate clicking the find and replace. So I'm going to hit F1, do this find replace. Yeah, it should be unique. Off. Let's display matches. Okay, great. We could. Oh, no, I don't want to. I want to single click it. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Let's do a test. I think I've had some issues with, with some things where the control click doesn't always work. Um, so that one we might move to an actual click, but for now it seems to be working. Um, the really cool thing I like about this too is because the way Maestrith built it, that it looks for this site, the class, and that window title. If and when we this thing moves around, um, it's locked to this window. So everything in this window, the coordinates don't matter, right? It's going to look for the text. Uh, well, sorry for whatever you anchor it to, but no matter where it is, it it's look first looks for this and then searches within it for that image. So it's all tied together, anchored. All right, let's go ahead and start doing the set text. Um, so that is a F two. So make sure the script's highlighted F two. Um, what's the, you know, in order to be tied here, I could come off of this find, which I, I think that'd be weird that this one, I could use it as like an index, but um, I think the what, find, well, actually it's find, find W is probably somewhere in there, even though it's a little counterintuitive, right? Like I don't even see the words, but um, so it, it, uh, it, it I, it's unique. Now, just like the other tool, I got to move away and hit F2 again to lock it because I don't want the image you know, to have the worried about the coloring stuff, right? Um, so we're F2, and now this is where it's a little different. You have to remember, where do we want to click um, to send the text? Uh, initially, when I was doing this, I was doing it a little too far to the left. So what I realized was doing it over here is a little better. So move a little to the right, click F2, um, and now look at this offset. So it's offset, the X, which is the horizontal, is over 75, and the Y is one. So it's gonna be slightly, um, I think that's up, a, no, below, because I think one is down and, and negatives are up. Um, so let's, I'm, I'm also gonna move, let's say we're gonna move it. Um, oh, we can't, because it's, uh, uh, this is where we're gonna send the text, sorry, my bad. Um, so, so we're gonna do that. Um, display matches first off. So that it shows us where we are here, but I'm gonna have it where we could hit a button here and show us where that offset visually is. Um, so that's one of the things I've already put in this to, to do. Uh, but let's go ahead and test it, right? So let's, bam. Hello world. Now also notice this select all is set on by default. If you wanted it to like insert it instead of appending it, um, and let's see what this will do. This might make it really squirrely. Nope, it still did it. Interesting, um, but usually I think you want to select all first, select all, and then replace what's there, right? More often than not. So let's go ahead and do a second one just to um, add another step. So I'm going to do F2, come down here. This time I'm going to do the replace with, move away, set my offset. And I was hoping, you know what, let me, let me do it wrong. I'm going to do it a little probably too close. Let's go up a little. There we go. Now here, notice it's minus 11 and offset 43. So um, I'm gonna display matches, but I still found it there. Now what I would love to have, and this is, this is where, um, if I could change this to moving the mouse there, um, it'd be, you know, that's what I was doing before. But what I wanted to do is to, to have a button to say display where we're gonna type it, because otherwise you're just kind of guessing where to go. So I'm gonna say, oh yeah, set the text. Um, replacing. Now let's see what this does. It, it often actually dumps it in the other top window. See what that did? And this is where you just start um, guess it. Well, I can either type in here, so that'd be going up. I wanna go back down, set this closer to probably around there. Test it. Nope, still, still not right. Uh, but also I might wanna move this over or I could hit, I could just retry it, the offset. So that's what F3 is for. I'm gonna redo the offset. Now remember, it's gonna be anchored to this um, this image here, the center of this image. So what we really want to do is figure out where you're gonna put it. That's about right there. Now let's test it. There we go. So now we've, we've updated the offset, um, allowed us to enter the stuff in both of these. I'd probably add another 
you know, clicking the find, even though there's nothing in there. But um, you get the idea of adjusting that offset. It's it's a little, I don't want to say finicky, because it is, you have to be precise. But look at this, when I move this, and I test it, right, it doesn't matter, because it's it first says where is this, um, I, I think actually it starts for this replace window, and then says, okay, then where is this class within that replace window? And so it um, that's one of the reasons why it's it's fast, right? Very fast. So hope that helps. Cheers.